Hello, my name is Rory Sheehan and I'm a psychiatrist and medical researcher at University College London. Together with colleagues, I have conducted a study investigating mental illness, challenging behaviour and psychotropic drug use in people with intellectual disability. People with intellectual disability have impairment of intellectual functioning along with difficulties in one or more life skills. They have an increased risk of developing a wide range of mental disorders, including severe mental illnesses such as schizophrenia. People with intellectual disability may also show challenging behaviour. This refers to any behaviour that puts the safety of the person or others at risk or limits their involvement with community activities. Psychotropic drugs, which are designed to treat mental illness, might be overused in people with intellectual disability. There is particular concern that one group of these drugs, the antipsychotics, are often used to manage challenging behaviour. In order to investigate this possibility, we used data from the Health Improvement Network, a UK database of anonymised GP records that includes several million people. We identified over 33,000 adults with intellectual disability and followed them up for an average of five and a half years, looking for records of mental illness, challenging behaviour and prescription of psychotropic drugs. Overall, almost two-thirds had been prescribed psychotropic drugs, but only around a third had a record of mental illness. People with challenging behaviour were more than twice as likely to be prescribed an antipsychotic drug, and over seven in ten of those prescribed antipsychotics had no record of severe mental illness. The discrepancy between psychotropic drug use and mental illness recording suggests that these drugs may, in some cases, be inappropriately used in people with intellectual disability. This is concerning, as these drugs may cause adverse side effects and they should not be routinely used outside situations in which they have proven benefit. Our results highlight a need for strategies to reduce inappropriate psychotropic prescribing to people with intellectual disability. We believe that ensuring people receive the right treatment can be best achieved through a combination of approaches. This will include further research into the benefits and side effects of psychotropic drugs in people with intellectual disability. Alternatives to psychotropic drug use, such as behavioural and environmental interventions, should also be considered. Finally, training of staff and education of patients and carers will also play an important role in reducing inappropriate psychotropic prescribing. A full copy of the paper is freely available at bmj.com.